You want to start with the quarterbacks, Mike? What do you think? What do you think? Rich, I, I just, <laughs> if you started anywhere else, I might have had a heart attack. <laughs> why, Sam John, why Sam Darnold? Why is he number one for you on your first position rankings at the quarterback position? There are five or six quarterbacks this year, Rich, that conceivably could have a first-round grade, which is more than usual. It's a deeper class than we've had. The guys up top, I, I think there's, there's a hole in almost everybody's game. Um, and we could dig as deep as you want on any of them. But at the end of the day, I don't know any of these kids yet. I've never met Sam Darnold. So I'm only going off tape, which, which is difficult. Um, because, for instance, when you know, the Carson Wentz thing, I jumped in with both feet because not only did I love his tape, but I liked the kid even more and what he brought to the table, leadership, intelligence, etc. So last year at this time, I think I had Deshaun Kaiser as my number one quarterback. On, on the first top five. And the more I dug into that, the less I liked that. So with that all being a caveat, the reason I'm with Darnold right now is I think he's uh, a prototypical NFL drop back guy. He's six, four plus or minus two twenty. He's got plus arm strength. He's a plus athlete. He's competitive. I like the fact that he played three sports in high school, including point guard in his basketball team. Um, you can see that he's got a competitive fire. He pushes the ball down the field. You know, I, I like almost everything about him, and the big caveat for me, and it, it is a big one, our turnover, especially fumbles. The, guy, the guys fumbled a lot going back to high school football. Um, so you got to kind of take a look at that and say, is that fixable? And I think a lot of what he does in the pocket is fix, fixable because he's gotten into a bad habit of only keeping his right hand on the ball instead of his offhand for protection. And Josh Allen, what do you see about him that you like? You put him to over Josh Rosen. What do you think? Yeah, he's the exact same height and weight as Carson Wentz, and he's coached by the same head coach mm. that had Carson Wentz. So he's coming out of a pro-style attack. Um, I, I don't know where he is on the intangible side compared to Carson Wentz, but he's just as athletic. He's got a bigger arm. He's got the biggest arm in this draft or any of the last five or ten drafts. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be a great quarterback. All you have to do is look at Jamarcus Russell, who had a huge arm. So um, you're taking a little bit of a leap of faith on a kid that's got all the tangibles in the world. Big, strong, rocket arm, supposed to be a smart kid, supposed to be a hard worker. The thing I'm struggling to get over is his 56% accuracy in college football and very rarely does a guy become a 64 percent guy that was 56 in college so that's what's got me worrying and i'm trying to grind through more tape and determine with some other quarterback coaches around the league you know is it is it quote fixable deepest uh is this the deepest quarterback draft you've seen in a while or compare it yeah yeah, I mean, between Donald, Allen, Rosen, Mayfield, Lamar Jackson, Mason Rudolph, there's six names that could conceivably be first-round guys. And then right on top of that, I mean, Luke Falk from Washington State, Kyle Lawletta from Richmond, uh, Mike White played his butt off at the Senior Bowl. There's three more. That's nine. And in a typical quarterback year, Rich, there's been an average of 12 taken. Over the, so there's nine of the 12 draftable ones right off the top of our heads. And, and I think it's a really, there's some quality at the top and there's depth throughout. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.